Hello everybody, welcome back. My name's Dacian and I'm here for Fantasy Revolution 11, your number one place for Final Fantasy content, walkthroughs, strategies, and basically anything Final Fantasy 11. Hopefully you saw the first video, which is how to get to the Seekers of a Duelin City. It's pretty straightforward, nothing special, you didn't have to do anything, but today we're going to take a look at how to get the maps. So, here's actually where you zone in right after that cutscene, I haven't really gone anywhere, I just wanted to show you where you guys zone in. Your first NPC that you're going to be talking to is at the Pioneers Coalition, which is actually this building right up here on the left. You're going to be looking for an NPC named Brenton. He is right on the left, and before I actually go talk to him, I am going to tell you guys I didn't record the actual conversation, so if you don't want to see those spoilers, I suggest you close this video right now, but hopefully it's nothing too crazy. But I'm actually going to keep a little bit quiet so you guys can read through this. This is actually pretty cool, and uh, I'll be back once this finishes.
Alrighty, congratulations, there's your first map in the map of the city. Basically, that's your opening starting gate, and from what I've seen and what I've heard, basically, it's going to be like a campaign style setup, you know, you fight monsters, get rewards, really seems interesting. But now I'm actually going to take you to the second spot, which will get you the rest of the maps of the area. We're actually going to go right over to the east portion of the city. And we're going to be looking for an NPC in the Scouting Coalition. Uh, I'm going to butcher her name. I believe it's Celia Alani. But, you know, that's completely terrible pronunciation, and I understand that. I can't not say any of these names in here. I don't know if they just purposely made it so that I couldn't actually say any of them, or if I'm just terrible at pronouncing names. But we're just going to run over there real quick, and from here, we should be able to just run straight and into the east portion of the city. If I am guessing right, the scouting guild should be pretty close once you zone in. I mean, you shouldn't have to go too far, but then again, first time, first look, I have no idea what I'm up against. Hopefully this map that I just got, I can actually put to good use. Uh, the next portion, actually, that I'm going to be pointing out after this video is how to unlock Rune Fencer and Geomancer. So if you guys were looking for those, those are going to be up pretty soon. I'm actually going to be doing the Rune Fencer quest right after this, and hopefully have that video up pretty quick, along with uh, Geo. And then I have a couple different ideas that I want to take care of. Uh, I've actually been thinking about doing a series where I'm I gotta level up fishing as it is but it's gonna be more of a interaction with you guys basically going through anything that's required um, any questions or comments and basically just a forum to answer anything and I'm not quite sure why my map doesn't cover here it should but maybe I can just find it if I just run forward enough let's see here um, yeah, this is this is kind of awkward because I thought it would have been like right there and the map would have loaded. But uh, hey, there's a waypoint. Might want to grab that. Uh, the waypoint is actually a really cool. You can warp around the city. I did find that out in between here. So the more that you get, the easier warping is going to be. And like anything, warps are awesome. That way you don't have to walk. But uh, yeah, let's see here. Scouting coalition. I'm. Hmm. Let's see. Let me. Huh. Let me pull up my map again. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, Scouters Coalition is right there in the bottom left hand side of the map. So, should be over here. The door should be somewhere. And I don't know why, but the people in this city don't really believe in doors. Like, I don't have to ever target anything to actually open them. Which is awesome. I mean, <laughs> open door policy makes it really easy. So, this should be, yeah, this is the entrance right here. And we're going to be looking for a Mithra. As I said, uh, Sifa Alani. Yeah, I'm, okay, she's not at the desk. Uh, let's see. Ah, there she is. Hold on. Where, come on, target her again. Basically, yeah, right there. Right in the center of the room, you know, hiding. But yeah, these are actually going to be basically free maps. They aren't going to cost you anything unless you get the high level ones. There is two that cost uh, 1,000 of the new money. I didn't buy those, but for right now, I didn't see why I needed them. The, from what I required for the Rune Fencer and Geomancer, you don't need those higher level maps. But they're going to be something that I would recommend buying as soon as you get the points up. Those points you can actually get for doing missions in the city, along with just defeating monsters outside. So if you wanted to go join a party or go beat up some monsters and get those other maps, that'd be a great point to start. But, uh, yeah, that's all this video is going to be. Nothing too crazy. Uh, you now have all the maps for the city plus surrounding areas. I hope you had fun and found out everything that you needed to. This is Dacian for Fantasy Revolution 11 Gaming. I hope to see you again. I will see you in the game.